Hey guys, it's Angelique, also known as The Light. Welcome to my channel. Please stop what you're doing. Click like on this video. Sorry if I'm snacking. I have not ate dinner yet. I was running errands and it's late, so I'm snacking while I'm trying to get this video done for you guys. I hope everyone is doing well. Um... Don't forget to click like on this video, subscribe, stay a while. You will not regret it. If you like spiritual experience videos, chosen one videos, I have some zodiac videos on here and some narcissistic awareness videos on here from previously where I used to do on my channel. Um, thank you to Maria and thank you to Firesign for donating to the channel. I appreciate you ladies so much. You're always looking out for me. Thank you for supporting me. Um, in order for me to keep pumping out content on my channel, uh, I only put content out when I receive donations. Uh, if you'd like to donate to me, that will, that information is always in the comment section or in the description bar. What else? I think that's it. I have like an announcement at the end of this video to go further about phone sessions and about donations because I had an incident today with a subscriber. Um, chosen ones. Because most of us are in paths, because we're genuine and the way we're set up also emotionally how we were raised most chosen ones are black sheep or co were codependent at one point we didn't receive that love growing up and it spills out into the relationships that we have as an adult okay a lot of us attracted narcissists or we were raised by narcissistic parents most chosen ones did not have the cookie cutter clean type of lifestyle so when i hear people talk about i have a chosen one and their life was perfect i i'm not believing you because there's nothing for you to be able to relate to the people okay um just like jesus was considered to be the chosen one right but he didn't grow up rich he didn't have this cookie clean life and that's why he was humble and was able to relate to the people. Um, so chosen ones, a lot of you are empaths and a lot of you aren't super empaths. You can be an empath but still not have boundaries, still not have self-love, still not um, be in tune with who you are spiritually, still not know uh, how to go about handling your spiritual assignments that god has given you when a super empath they know who they are they you're not gonna play with a super empath a super empath has tapped into their light side and their dark side they're in tune they will play the game but at the end you they will have the last laugh the super empath knows their boundaries the super empath or the super chosen one you're not gonna want to play with them all right, I would consider myself now a super empath, but once upon a time, I wasn't. I would consider myself a super chosen one, so to say, but once upon a time, I wasn't because I didn't have boundaries, I didn't have self-love, I didn't know my purpose in life, I was lost, I was letting people talk to me crazy, run all over me, and a lot of you are still in that zone. But you're going to get there, You, a lot of you will get there one day, and that's why you're watching these videos, right? And it happens to me sometimes too where I slip up and I let people in emotionally who are full of crap, okay? So, one thing I want to tell you is this. Stop letting people emotionally trigger you, all right? Stop. And I know you're like, but how do I control it? I'm an empath. I'm a chosen one. How could I not? It does take time to develop this uh, gift. Develop 
being able to put up that wall. So I said it before, like, I still can feel for people. I can watch movies and cry. I can watch the news and cry. I can see things on social media about certain people and still cry and still feel connected. But I no longer feel connected to people who I feel are trying to disrespect me, who I know in my soul has bad intentions for me, who's playing games with me, who has violated me or doesn't appreciate me and has constantly over and over and over again taken my presence for granted. But because you feel so much as a chosen one or as an empath, um, you don't know when to cut those feelings and emotions off. And through time, you're going to have to learn who to feel for. Tell your heart, tell your mind. We only feel for those who feel for us, right? And this is something I had to practice through time. And it's not that you're cold hearted or um your your bitter or anything like that no it's, it has nothing to do with that it's just that you have to know when to cut it off because if not this is why you um are able to get love um bombed by narcissists this is why you're able to get bamboozled by people who really don't have any good intentions for you you need to be so close to god so in tune with your spirit so in tune with yourself, so in tune with your ancestors that when you hear that voice letting you know something doesn't seem right here, when you're adding up all these different uh, tactics and patterns that you keep seeing over and over, why aren't you stopping and going, wait a minute, this person reminds me of John, this person reminds me of Mark, this person reminds me of Marsha, this person reminds me of Sarah. You have to compute the patterns of behavior of the people that is coming to you and that's how you know how to uh, separate who you're going to F with and who you're not going to F with and that's what I do I pay attention now to the patterns I pay attention to the vibrations in my body when people are talking to me I look at their life I look to see how they're treating me are they treating me the way I treat myself Anyone who is disrespecting you, talking down to you, dis, you know, uh, mistreating you, not treating you well. This is why if the more you love yourself, the more you treat yourself a certain way, the, the better you'll be able to judge and see who is who. So, there's a lot of people who did the chosen ones dirty, right? And some of you are in a good place. Some of us are in a good place where we love ourselves or we know better and we're learning who's who, right? And sometimes I slip up, like I said as well, I be slipping up. But now, the people who did me dirty, family members, ex-co-workers, ex-bosses, um, people from church back in the day, all kind of people, anybody, ex-lovers, I don't feel anything. I don't feel guilty for cutting them off. I don't feel guilty <clears throat> for not letting them have access to me. I saw this post, I said, um, I got the same number, but people don't have access to me. And that's exactly how I feel right now because I'm finally to that level where my number is the same, but you can't get through. And people know that. So it's like an energetic phone. It's not just your phone number where people can dial up. It's an energetic line. You have to learn to cut that off. So let me give you an example of how you do that. So don't show emotion when these individuals contact you. And they play games. They know. They're playing mind games with you to see, well, if he or she reacts like this, and it's not just narcissists that do this. And these people have been doing this since they were children. They know what they're doing. They're, they're, they are fully aware. I want you to know, the people who have done you wrong, chosen one, they are fully freaking aware of how they've been treating you. They're not dumb. They're not dumb. They're not just people who are scared to talk to you. No, 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 no. 
If they were scared to talk to you, they would leave you alone completely. They don't want to come out and take accountability for how they did you dirty. They don't want to take accountability for the things they did to you or the things they didn't help you with, for being supportive. So they're going to play these emotional games with you to see, hmm, let me see if I got access to him or her. Let me see if I can still use them. You know, all these years, you have to understand that these people see you as weak. They, they know that you're better than them. They know that you're powerful. They see your light, but they don't take that as a, a strength. They take that as a weakness. Oh, really? Hmm. She actually forgives people? Hmm. All right, bet. I'm about to use her. Hmm. I could talk to her or him like this, and they still let me in their life? Bet. Got it. Okay. This is how twisted and deranged your family is. Those friends, those ex-lovers, those neighbors, those people you've had encounters with. These are sick individuals you're dealing with. They're nothing like you. But they play on your heartstrings. They play these emotional game games to keep you there so they can use you energetically. So, my sibling has a child and he'll hit me up. Keep in mind, when it's my birthday, I don't get taken out. I get a card in the mail. The F am I gonna do with a card? When it was your birthday, I used to take you out and do things for you and I'm younger than you. Never, never. I can't even tell you the last time my sibling has taken me out for my birthday, invited me over for dinner, or oh, let's hang out. None of that. I don't get none of that. But they'll try to act like they love you and care for you just to have access to you. So I will get a card in the mail. Uh, mind you, I don't even celebrate uh, holidays. But he doesn't. he doesn't know that because he doesn't really care. He just has to make it look like he's making an effort. So he'll put like, instead, he'll say, I drove by your house and put a card in the mail. You drove by my house and you put a card in the mail when you could have rung my doorbell or said, hey, let's meet up, let's talk. Because they're full of shit, chosen ones. They're full of it. They're full. They want to do the 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 least amount of work and effort in putting love and affection and attention into you they but they want the access to you still so he puts a card he drives to my house and puts a card in my mailbox and you know what people around you will say oh well at least he's trying that's nice trying what when you're not trying to really see the person in real life what this is this little stupid games they play so he'll put a card in my mailbox for christmas um new year's or thanksgiving or my birthday like a whole bunch of holidays i don't even celebrate no birthday cake no, hey, let's go out, even if it's to freaking Applebee's, none of that. Because that's not their interest. They just want access to you. As long as they can text and call you and dump their shit on you, chosen one, and use you for your light and see what you're doing and check up on you, it's not mm -hmm. to make sure you're okay. It's to... Uh, have surveillance of your life because they've been competing with you since you were born, since they met you. That's BS. That's bull crap. And they'll do that. And he'll text me and he'll say things like, oh, your niece is sick. Why are you telling me my niece is sick? When I'm sick, you don't care. When I'm going thing, through, through things, you don't care. When I was in the hospital, you don't care. You see, you see how this is? You see how they are? They throw these things at you to see your reaction. I don't care what it is. Keep 
the poker face on, chosen one. Don't let them know that you do care. Don't let don't show it. Because they're not here for your any they're not here for any good. They're here to use you for your energy. They're here to see, oh, do I still got access to them? So now when I get stupid text messages like that trying to pull at my heartstring while I'm really developing a relationship with me and actually investing in me, you know what I do? Oh, hope you feel better. Oh, okay. And they know because usually you're the person who'll be like, oh my gosh, do you need anything? Can I help you? Don't do all that. No. No. No more. No more. These are people who don't give a damn about your chosen one. Who don't check on you to see if you're doing good. It's surveillance. It's to see if they still have that access to you. If they needed you. If they wanted to use you. That's all it is. I don't know what the hell they're getting from you. All I know is that this is what I've experienced. Friends do it too. Ex-lovers do it too. Well, let me see. Let me text her. Let me text him and see how they respond. Then I know that if I want some sex, I can hit up Chosen One. I know that if I need a place to stay, I can still hit up hit up Chosen One. Oh, I know that if I needed to borrow some money or I needed money, I could hit up Chosen One because they're dumb as hell. This is what these people are thinking. They don't value you at all. They value whatever source of, of uh, what is it, supply they can get from you. And I'm, I keep telling y'all, it's not just narcissists that do this. There are literal evil ass people in your family, friend circle, lover circle that really watch you. And they're blown away of how kind you are. And they take your kindness for weakness and they think you're stupid as hell, chosen one. I'm not telling you to change your heart and stop being kind. I'm telling you to change who you are kind to. I'm telling you, stop telling your business to your family members that did you dirty. Stop telling uh, social media or telling your so-called people you think were your friend. Don't give them no access to your life. I'm telling you, like, what is the word? Drain them out. Make them wonder what you're doing. When they text you, hey, what's going on with your life? I'm good. I'm blessed. That's what I say. I'm blessed. What's going on? Are you up to anything? Nope. I'm blessed. They'll keep talking. Some of them will even try to use the tricks of telling their business to open you up to see if you t don't tell them nothing. Got anything going on? Nope. Sure don't. I'm good. Can't complain. I'm blessed. Drain them out. Starve them out. Don't give them anything. Why would you give these individuals access to your godly light and they haven't did anything for you? They come around every couple of weeks, every couple of months, every couple of years just to see, let me see if I still got them where I had them. That's what they're doing. Huh? They know they don't love you. They don't love you. They don't appreciate you. Half of them don't even like you. But they're obsessed. Because a lot of times you are who they wish to be. And they can't stand you for it. But like a little leech. Like a little vampire. They gotta, they gotta know what you're doing. They gotta know what you're up to. What's going on in your life. Stop falling for those emotional triggers. I don't even care if you told me your house burned down. Okay? Okay? Because you know what piece we're playing in my head when these people come around me? Oh, when I was homeless. Oh, I, 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 let me tell you the story. When my mother died, my sibling just had bought a brand new house. And I didn't know where I was going to live because I lost the apartment. I couldn't pay. I think it was like $1,200 at the time. I wasn't working because I was taking care of my mom. And my mom would give me um, 
some of her social security check. That's how it was done. I would take care of my mom uh, at, uh, from the afternoon to the night, and then I would have like a nurse's aide come during the day when she was dying of cancer. So I didn't have any like money saved up. I didn't get the life insurance because she lied on her life insurance policy. I was in a bad situation. And I'm never saying that your family has to take you in, but I'm your only sibling. Why not? Even if it was temporary, hey, you can stay here for two weeks or you can stay here for a month. You know what he said to me? He looked me in my face. You know what he said to me? Oh, call me when you get to the shelter. Oh, yeah. That's what he said to me. Call me when you get to a shelter. That man did not care if I ate. He didn't give me no food, no water, no shelter, no nothing. But this was the same person. People say, well, what did you do to him? If I did something to him, why did he turn around and ask me to babysit his child? Because they don't care about you, chosen one. They just want to use you. They hate you. They do not like you. And he probably said, look at this dummy. I let her be in the street, didn't give her no food, didn't pray for her, didn't do nothing for her, didn't give her no damn water. And look at her dumb ass babysitting for me too. That's probably what he was saying. But that was the 23-year-old Angelique. The 38-year-old Angelique will tell him, kiss my ass. But they know you, chosen one, of the one that used to be emotionally triggered. Don't let these people use you anymore. And some people say, well, I'm so kind and I'm so nice. Why are you being kind to people who don't like you or love you, who hate you? God never told you to do that. Hell no. So that's how I sleep at night with the fan on, my booty cheeks hanging out, and I don't feel no type of guilt. I don't feel no guilt for it. And you shouldn't either in past. You shouldn't either chosen ones. Stop falling for those emotional emails you get in. Those text messages. They just want back in to suck your energy up. That's it. That's it. They don't care about you as a whole, as a person. They don't care about your hopes and your dreams and the things that you desire for yourself. They don't care about that. They care about your energetic light. And whatever you can provide, whatever supply they can get from you. That's the only thing they care about. And you're going to know because people who truly love you are going to support you, motivate you, be there for you. You're going to feel like, wow, I give to them, they give to me. That is how you're going to know when you come across somebody who really loves you and cares for you. You're going to feel it in your body. You're not going to have headaches when you're around these people. You're not going to feel drained when you leave these people. You're going to know. And if you don't know, pray about it and God will show you. And when the sign comes and God answers you, you better freaking move. Discard them or back away slowly. You know, sometimes you don't got to be dramatic when you, when you leave people. You know, you don't have to do all of that. A lot of times I don't block people. I just start talking. And then eventually they realize... Okay, she's not giving me the same energy. And they block me. You don't have to be dramatic with every exit out of people's lives. But that's the message today. Stop falling for the triggers because that's how you get will back in and you're getting used, chosen ones. And that's not what God wants for you. Now, um, I had a... Um, a not... I, 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 uh, uh, unnecessary conversation today with a sub I have never had any issues with any of my subs I don't care if you see this video if you see this message good for you so in the community section I made a post y'all can go over it and y'all can read it and it's letting everybody know starting July 1st 2022 my phone booking sessions will now be $35 an hour instead of $30 and it will be uh, $20 for 30 minutes instead of $15. I've had this business for two years. I've never had to give a refund. I've never had any cancellations. I never got into any arguments. I don't think I've 
I've had this channel for six years and never had any issues. I might have had, you know, a couple of weirdo, you know, people, but never any issues, okay? Um, you know, stalkers or anything like that. But let me say this. I am not passive aggressive. I am not afraid to talk to any of you subs. Um, if I have to say something to you, I will email you because I can't call you. Actually, I could have called you because I had your number. But that post had nothing to do with you personally. I put that up. Once I saw PayPal fees, because this particular sub made a payment, they booked a phone session with me. And once I saw that PayPal took the fees out, I said, oh shoot, I keep getting these PayPals. Let me post this on the community section. You took it personally, that is completely fine. I have refunded you back what I have received. You have to understand guys, when y'all are in another country, PayPal is going to take out extra fees. When I was in Mexico, I had to pay extra fees because I was from the US. That comes with the territory. My fee is now $35. So if you live in another country, expect to pay more than $35. It does not fall on the person. When you buy a concert ticket, the ticket will say $75 and they will take out $75 plus a whole bunch of fees, okay? The company's not going to pay your fees. I don't I shouldn't have to pay your fees. You want the service for me, you have to pay the fees. Uh you can use Zelle. I know a lot of people in different countries do not have Zelle, but it does go through a lot of banks, okay? Uh Zelle, there's no fees. The money goes directly into my bank account. I know Cash App is not all over the place but I use Cash App as well. I don't want to take PayPal away because a lot of people who are in other countries can use PayPal in order to pay me. But if you don't pay the fees, I will have to refund the money back until you pay the extra fees. Okay, guys? Um, sorry you took that personally, that message. It was nothing personal towards you. It's that I am running a business here, and when I saw the fees were missing, I said, oh, shoot, I keep getting donations that are getting fees taken out of it. I keep getting payments through PayPal. I prefer Zelle and Cash App because there's no fees, and I get my full amount. My charging uh, was $30. My charging is not, I actually end up getting $27. That's not my fee an hour. My fee was is $30 an hour right now. It's not $27 an hour. So understand, guys, if you live in another country, you're going to pay extra fees. Everything is going up. U.S. is in a recession. They haven't announced it. U.S. is in a recession. The other day, I went into the bee supply store and I walked the fuck back out. Okay, something I used to pay $5 for is now $10. I walked into the grocery store the other day and walked the fuck back out. Everything is going high. So you don't have to just have a car and have high gas everything is going up people can't pay their rent people can't buy gas people can't buy foods and pampers and everything so that is the reason why i am now have to raise the prices because fees are being tacked on from left to right paypal emailed me uh cash app emailed me poshmark emailed me i left etsy i used to sell e-rings on etsy too many damn fees and it's like it's taking the money from the the the, the server the server you know from the person who's um providing the service all right so thank you to everybody who books with me um i'm sure i never had nobody have a bad experience with me you can write in the comments if you had a good experience with me um and i'm looking forward to talking with you guys because i really love what i do for living okay but I refunded her her money. I think that's a her or him. I don't even know. But I refunded that individual back their money. I have my email. I have my receipts to prove that. I never give refunds back. I've never been asked to give a refund. But I did because that's the kind of person I am. Okay. Um, but yes, continue to donate to me. Because the more donations I get, the more information I pump out. And have an amazing week because this retrograde in Saturn is retrograding. I got people on my phone, people in my DM uh, who did me dirty, who's trying to come back into my life. 
who's trying to make it right through apologies. No, thank you. I'm good. You know, when you see people and how they treat you, you see people how they are, you don't even got to get upset. Don't even get upset. Just keep it moving. That's really the message. Stop falling for emotional triggers. Do not let people trigger you. Don't let people ruin your day. Don't let these people from your past who's playing on your phone, playing in your email, playing in your DM. Look, don't give that that beautiful light that you have, that extra spiritual light. We are going through so much right now. Protests all over the world. Definitely in New York City. I'm drained from the weekend from walking through thousands of people protesting all over New York and you know a lot of pride parades and just being surrounded by so many people this week i'm so freaking drained and it's already tuesday going on wednesday and i'm still exhausted from over the weekend but uh listen i ain't got no time to argue with nobody i have no time to prove my character to any to anyone a sub a family member a ex-friend nobody all right, so chosen ones, I hope you keep that same energy and keep that in mind. Do not fall for emotional triggers. They will drain you energetically. They will distract you and they will get you caught up in relationships that you have no business being in. Oh God, look at all this lipstick. Why God didn't tell me about all that lipstick? All right, guys, peace and blessings and I'll talk to you soon. Have an amazing week.